Hi everyone, I'm Donna Louise and welcome to my YouTube channel for the love of puzzles. It feels like it was just last week that I filmed my 3,000 subscribers special video and look at us, we're already at 4,000 subscribers and I just have to say thank you. I don't know what else to say but thank you so much for coming back week after week to watch my videos. I truly do enjoy building jigsaw puzzles. Well, most of them anyway. And I absolutely love making these videos for you all. So I really appreciate you subscribing and watching. I love reading all your comments and I still try to reply to every single one of them. So please feel free to comment. I'd love to hear from you. Please indulge me for a moment. My grandma from Ontario, Grandma Dorothy, watches my videos, so I wanted to send a hello to her. I miss her very much and love her so much. She is a huge sports fan and she loves baseball. Her team is the Blue Jays. Now, Grandma, I don't know if you can read the comments, but if anyone wants to leave a hello, a comment below for my grandma, and let me know if you're a baseball fan and what team you support, I'll copy your comments and I'll email them to her so she can read them all. So, hey grandma! For this video, I went to, I didn't know what other word to use but my undesirable pile of jigsaw puzzles. Basically jigsaw puzzles that I've gotten and that I'm like, huh, maybe I didn't feel would make a great video or I just not my style of jigsaw puzzle. So I went there and I decided to do one that I thought I would normally typically not enjoy. Now I got this jigsaw puzzle from Wendy. For those of you that are new to my channel, Wendy often does appear. She puzzles with me. She's, um, she's just great fun. And whenever she goes to a secondhand shop, we call them op shops here, um, she looks for jigsaw puzzles and she'll get some crazy ones for me. So she got me my first black and white jigsaw puzzle. It's this one right here from Robinsberger. It's an old one from 1992. It's called First Kiss and it's a photograph by Kim Anderson. Black and white jigsaw puzzle. Oh goodness. I think this is going to be so tricky. I don't know. I've never done like a whole grayscale uh, before. I will admit the rose is red and the stem is green, but besides that, there's no other color but black to white and every color of gray in between. So we'll see how I get on. Wendy is great though, and I appreciate all the puzzles she picks up for me. So this is a great challenge for the 4,000 subscriber video. Because so many of you are pretty new here, I thought during the time lapse I'd chat a bit about me and some of the questions people end up having. For example, it's August and I am wearing a big fuzzy sweater where most of my viewers live in North America and I obviously do sound North American. I don't live in the Northern Hemisphere. So I thought during the time lapse, I'll tell you a little bit more about me, who I am, where I come from, where I live and you know, you can either listen or mute. And that's typically what I do during the time lapse. I try to minimize how much music I have during my videos. I typically like to talk about the puzzle or the artist or the content matter, the subject matter in the jigsaw puzzle. And it's lots of fun. I love doing the voiceovers. So let's just jump right in and see how well I do at building my first black and white jigsaw puzzle. So my name is Donna Louise, and a lot of people wonder how that's spelled. It's all one word, just with a capital D, no space, no hyphen, no capital L. And I do really like my name. A lot of people ask me that too, or ask me if they can just call me Donna, but I do prefer being called Donna Louise. Um, just to note, you can see this is not my typical style of puzzling. I just had to flip the pieces over. I'm trying to sort like the darker black pieces on the right hand side and the brighter white pieces on the left hand side and some grays up there. And I do end up doing the border first, which is not typical of me, but I just didn't know what to do with this jigsaw puzzle to start out with. So I did the full flip and it, it wasn't that bad. Now I'm originally from Canada, so I'm French Canadian. The first language I spoke was English but the first language I read and wrote was French. I do speak a little Spanish. I have not learned any Terre au Mare yet because I now live in New Zealand. That's why I'm down in the Southern Hemisphere. I had graduated university and worked in Canada for a few years, and then I moved down to the United States where I met my husband. And after living there for a while, we decided let's move to New Zealand. 
So we got married and literally four days later, we moved to New Zealand. So New Zealand was our honeymoon. And we've been here in New Zealand for 10 years now. So it's coming up on our 10 year wedding anniversary as well. We love it here. This is home. We were originally up in Auckland, but now we're down south in the South Island. So it's cooler weather here, but still very manageable. Still much better than the winters and the crazy weather extremes that I've experienced in Canada and the United States. So I will never complain about the weather here. Um, I started this channel, when was it? May of 2022, end of May, beginning June. So it's just over a year. Love it, so much fun. Some appearances on the channels are my friend Wendy, um, sometimes Paige appears. I speed puzzle a lot with my friend Allison, but she doesn't like to appear on camera. You will hear sometimes in the background our two little monkeys. So we have two pound rescues, Odin and Thora. Odin's coming up nine years and Thora's birthday's this month. She'll be six years old. Odin is a sweet, sensitive boy. Thora is a sassy pants girl. She just goes off. If anybody dare come to the end of our street, she must let them know that this is her property and no one is welcome. <laughs> Unless I open the door and then she's totally fine. On the channel, I also do speed puzzling as well as just regular builds. I just started speed puzzling, it's been maybe 10 months ago. And I'll be going to the World Championships in Spain this September with Jeanette and her puzzles. Vicky makes and builds Jigsaw Juby. And we also do the Battle of the YouTube Puzzlers twice a year. And Judy from Addicted to Puzzles joins us for that as well. We do have the two puzzles selected already for the next two battles, as well as our next guest puzzler. But I'm sworn to secrecy. These lips are sealed. I will not say anything. I just love jigsaw puzzles. I love making these videos. Now I'm by no means an expert. I try my best. Sometimes the lighting is off. Sometimes the sound is off. Sometimes the angle is off. There's so much to do, but I, I really, really enjoy it. And I try to make the best videos possible. What else can I tell you about me? Yeah, just living life down here in New Zealand, loving it. We are now officially Kiwis as well. We've had our citizens for a few years now. And so if ever you have the opportunity to come to New Zealand, I know it's far away, I know it's expensive, but it is just amazing here. Please come visit. I do miss all my family. My family's still in Canada and my hubby's family, his is still in the US. So we, we did get over quite a bit, but we haven't been in a while and we miss them all so much that's why i wanted to do a little shout out to my grandma because i love that she watches my videos she's in her 90s she's probably <laughs> probably upset that i'm telling you that but oh, i i love her so much and i love that she can email so we can keep in better touch with one another but yeah leave your comments below let me know if you're into baseball and what team you support because i know my grandma will love reading all your comments that wasn't too bad um, this is definitely an older Ravensburger jigsaw puzzle, but I will admit that the pieces were still a great quality. The back, you can tell the backing, they're all like, like a, almost white, like a very light gray, but same thickness, same quality. This one did not have puzzle dust. I wouldn't expect it to have puzzle dust if it's from 1992. It's 30 years old and it just took me over three hours to do. I'm actually really pleased with that. I thought it would be a lot more difficult to build, but it wasn't bad at all. I tried to concentrate on the pieces that I had a lot of like bright white and black transition pieces put those in first and then you saw in the video I did have to sort by piece shape but I actually really enjoyed it so it wasn't too bad now that doesn't mean I'm gonna run out and buy a whole bunch more black and white jigsaw puzzles but I'm really glad I did it and thank you to Wendy for picking this up for me and again thank you all for being here with me for subscribing to the channel and watching my videos I really appreciate it a special shout out to my channel members I appreciate the extra support you provide as well Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. For the love of puzzles, I hope you enjoy my videos. Please consider subscribing. And until next time, ciao.